welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have um, May 2017 wax empty. So it's all to do about, about candles or wax melts and wax melts will be the majority of what I did go through. Before we go any further, nothing on my nails, getting better. Um, <laughs> but what's on my lips? And I believe this to be the replacement for those Revlon lip butters that I so love and a lot of you guys do as well when I mention it. Um, it is a Revlon HD, what are you? HD Dawn is the name in number 705. It's um, just one of these little lipsticks here, but um, that's what I'm wearing on my lips. And as you can tell, I'm up a little bit further back. I will try to remember to hold things up closer. I have been doing my channel for almost two years, like a year and a half, let's say. Less than, basically almost two years. I've been sitting on the floor with a pillow <laughs> but I've been sitting on the floor so I'm on like this little tiny little step stool thing just to give me up jack me up a little bit it's like wearing heels um, so I hope this is okay for you guys I hope that the angles all right and I'll do my best to try to adjust this is my first video doing it this way if you don't feel or if I don't feel that it uh, is going to work out well that is okay we'll, we'll go back to the old way um, a few things I want to address before I go into my actual wax melts for the month. Um, the future wax melt empties may not be a monthly. I'm not certain yet. I'm really busy and I don't know if I can do a, a, like what I've melted for the whole week. I might have to do it every two weeks and then just and then have spend more time with that like spend more time talking to you guys if I can get sent note descriptions telling you better more in depth with the throw what type of um, melter I'm using with it or candles for that matter um, if they didn't already have like their own specific video uh, with a review so that's what I'm going to try to do it's just going to be a trial run so this will be the last big monthly empties where I'm I'll still do monthly empties but it'll be more like here's this is what I went through kind of feel that way right now because if you only could see what was all around me how much I've melted in this month um and the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about before I go any further, and the reason why I bring it up on this video is there's more people that watch this particular video of this kind of every month on my channel. And so I want to be able to reach out to as many people as I can. Um, I posted, I've been doing a lot of uh, vendor wax melt collections, and I just finished posting my Sassy Girl Aroma um, collection. And it was a lot of fun and I really like Sassy Girl Aroma and I like that they ship to Canada. It's still very, that's just me, but it's still very expensive to ship to us. It's almost three times more than it would be for if you were in the US. But anyway, with that being aside, I was totally willing to pay for it. But um, the day after I posted my video on my collection and I also talked to you all about how to order that kind of thing and the nice bonuses that they have with their ordering process, the next day, they changed their process. So I'm going to just really briefly apologize. I know it's out of my hands. I can't do anything about it. Um, but I wanted to come here where I know most of you guys are going to be watching this and state that Sassy Girl Aroma as of May 31st has changed their style of ordering. No longer are there is there a 20 minute cart hold, which was like the dream portion of it other because what it is everyone just frantically goes on you know what time you know what day it goes live and within minutes people are scrambling trying to grab stuff and the nice thing about having a that 20 minute cart hold was that as Myra and Kyla would suggest on their videos as well if you watch them that's awesome if you don't you should follow them um they called it cart jacking and I totally agree the nice thing about sassy girl aroma was that you had that 20 minute cart hold. And uh, so no one could take stuff out of your cart because it was yours for 20 minutes and that way you can, you know, take a more time to go through your items, make sure that's what you want. And then you could click uh, purchase and do that process afterwards. With that, it also, um, they have like five or six different points about how their new process is. Now, I don't know. No, it's going to be, it's new for Julie as well and Peggy, who's her, her admin on her Facebook page um, with Sassy Girl. It's new to them, so that this is trying to help them out a little bit. But it, I will say this it was a bit of an oxymoron to be told that we don't have a 20 minute cart hold, but yet, but yet, take your time in ordering and make sure you get everything you want. You can't have one or the, you can have one or the other, you can't have both. 
you can take the time and try to order what you'd like and what's on the list and go to the next thing if you can't find it. But there's a good chance if you take your time, that's going to be pulled right from your cart before you press purchase. So to me, that was a bit, maybe it should have been more clear. I don't know if it's, I don't know, maybe I read that wrong, but that's how I got it. Um, and another thing too, combined with the fact that you could cart hold for 20 minutes, they also had com uh, combined shipping. So say, for example, they open on a Saturday morning. And they allowed until Monday evening that any of your, if you decide to go in and keep going in and out to see if other things had dumped out of people's carts. So you make your first purchase, say you get five items and you purchase and you go through the process. And then later on that day, you're like, okay, let's see what's not, what's still available. Maybe there's more, and you know what, nine times out of 10, it, there is more items that you want back on stock because it's dropped out of someone's cart after 20 minutes. So you go make another purchase. And say a day and a half down the road, you're like, Oh, I've been contemplating about this loaf. Then you go online again and you see the loaf and you click on it. And it only costs 50 cents extra per transaction to combine them. Now she always gave like a, you know, a good three, four days so you could combine orders. There's no more combined orders. It makes it really tough. <laughs> um, it's turning out to be very much like Vintage Chic's uh, senses. In my opinion, that is very difficult. I am thankful because I have friends who order Vintage Chic's sense and I'm the, oh, the only way I could get it unless it was from a D stash. Um, yeah, so, and the last thing I want to say, and again, maybe it wasn't clear, but in my mind, there was one of those five or six points that they put on their Facebook page that stated about international shipping and that the international orders would be the last ones to go, like to ship out. And I was like, I kind of, I guess I read that as a, okay. So even if I'm the very first person who clicks paid and it's, you know, I'm, I'm international, I'm Canada, I'm just over the border, but still not really just, it's like four hours away. But I clicked on that and I'm the first person, I'm gonna be one of the last ones to get my order. So again, I, I don't understand the process. And so to be fair, I don't understand the process of that business. I know they're making it easier for themselves and they don't want people to, or the product to be oversold. Uh, so they're not able to fulfill the complete order uh, that a customer has made. But I wanted to come on here and also apologize for that video rather than taking it down because I mean it's also good to show you guys what I have. Um, there'll be a lot less frequent orders from my end, um, I believe, unless there's absolutely something on their scent list that I really, really, really want. Um, because again, without that cart hold and without that combo order, it kind of sucks. <laughs> In my opinion this is how I feel and I know there's lots of people who um, they, they're really good at the whole like figuring out what you want having your windows open I'm not that good uh, plus I'm on call as a firefighter so sometimes they might open and I might not be available to go and, and order so it's just one of those things this is my opinion this is how I feel but I felt strong enough that I wanted to talk to you guys and I felt that to be fair so there you go and now eight and a half minutes in, we're gonna show you wax melts that I've gone through. I'm gonna start with candles, actually. I have a DW Home Blanc Fleur de Jasmine. It was a two-wick candle. And of course, this has a this has already been reviewed on my channel. It was a throwback Thursday. And it burnt beautifully. You guys, there's not even a thing of soot anywhere on there. And this jar is so thick and heavy. It feels like a heavy like a weight. Um, this did very good on um, the reviews up on my channel, but just to let you guys know that the finished product is perfect. Another candle I really, really enjoyed was Copper Coconut from Bath & Body Works. This is a candle that um, I got because of Brenda at uh, Pretty Polka Dots. Got it right. Uh, she loves this candle. And um, I agree with her on the packaging. And there's also a complete review solely on this candle already up on my channel. On the playlist for Bath and Body Works. This was a beautifully buttery, rich coconut. Not light and airy, but definitely buttery. That's what I got out of it. And again, absolutely no soot. And it pretty much extinguished itself. It did extinguish itself almost, almost at an even pace or rate. So, and it still smells good to the bottom, which is like unheard of because normally you get like the burnt smell. And the last candle before we go on to wax melts, which was absolutely wonderful, and it's just recently um, been on my channel reviewed, 
hands down. Then this didn't come with a, a lid back in 2016 when I bought it, but it's Tiki Beach. I love this candle. I cannot recommend it enough. This again burnt right down to the bottom, no soot, still smells pure, like beautiful and perfect, just the way it started out to be and it ended that way. I am happy to announce that I had two very, very good burning Bath & Body Works candles, but um, one was from 2016, earlier on in the year, and the other one was from, I guess it was around Christmas time that the copper coconut came out. All right, let's do sensational wax melts. So Sensationals is found at Walmart, for those of you who are new to wax melts. Um, most Walmarts carry this, although mine's, mine doesn't really have a whole lot. I'm getting a little nervous. Uh, orange Mango Smoothie. This was fantastic. I used this in a um, blend, like a video I did with uh, some melting and blending and things like that. And my friend Lisa gave me a sample of this like a year and a half ago. I went on a year ago or a little over a year ago and um and it is sorry sensational's honey bourbon frosting and i've actually picked this up at walmart and we did this and it's reviewed on my channel i really 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 recommend this particular wax melt and it was beautiful it wasn't that astringent honey it was just a beautiful sweet honeycomb like crunch chocolate bar minus the chocolate honey this was beautiful i highly recommend it I would absolutely repurchase that and also Lisa sent me this I think there was just a couple um, little cubes it's Tonka suede she wrote on here it was too perf perfumey cologne for herself um, it I don't know how old it was but it, it wasn't super strong which is good because I'm not super into the, like cologne but I melted in my bathroom and it did okay I wouldn't say it like threw very well but um, I use it up so I get the labels off but that's what it looks like Coast to Coast, which was also something Lisa had sent me. There was a couple, I think there was four cubes or three cubes left. And this was lovely. Um, yeah, this was a really nice coconut, breezy, like, you know, blending like a nice fresh coconut and like breeze, like the, the linen outside on the, on the uh, line. That was what that smelled like. And I would actually repurchase that. I really like that. And few more. This is one of those a mixable fragrances by Sensationals. Half of it's honey bourbon frosting, which we've talked about already, and molten orange. So this was all molten orange and that was honey bourbon frosting. And so there's quite a few more cubes that they are smaller than, you know, these kinds of cubes here, but they were really nice and then great to blend with things. So I recommend that if you like um, sweet orange, I would absolutely recommend that. Something I wasn't like, it was neither here nor there about. It wasn't my favorite, nor was it, I didn't hate it. It's just not something I pick up again. It was Petal Showers. Exactly how it sounds is if you just walked outside and there was fresh picked petals and it had just rained. Like fresh rain sound, smell. Um, yeah, other reviews on my channel already, but there you go. Uh, Coconut Water, which if you don't already follow Ashley Pedersen on YouTube, you should if you're she's a fellow Canadian as well she does wax melt reviews I know on her Instagram which I think is the same name she just um, posted about this and she was asking uh, like what do we get from it and it was a lighter note for me I liked it I wouldn't repurchase it it's lighter I had it going in my bathroom it's like a young coconut um, you, you think with the picture you would think that a pina colada perhaps or something like that young coconut but it, I don't know, it was not soapy, but there's just something about it that's not quite what I would pick up again. But there was that. And the last sensational Lisa gave me again is Bally Shores. I, leave, I didn't like this one as much. It was to uh, lean towards the soap side of things. But there you go, beautiful photograph. So that's Sensationals. Okay, let's go on to Hayden Rowe. So Hayden Rowe, when I placed my order, I received quite a quite a few uh, samples, which you do when you when you order from Hayden Rowe, which is fantastic. Any vendor who gives samples, it's awesome. It's wonderful, actually. Uh, I got a really large chunk, and I want to say that it's probably about the same size chunk as a Glitterati that you see online, that kind of thing. Um, Glitterati wax, sorry. Raspberry lemonade. I received a really large chunk of this and I actually had it posted as a wax melt on my Instagram, which is always linked below. And I really liked it. It was very nice. Very, very much like that. 
Also from her, I melted rock and pops. I split this scent shot in, t in half and melted it a, a couple different occasions. It was a trifecta, like tri-layer color, looked like an actual rock and pop popsicle. So funny how that is, but yes, this is very, very good. I really, really like that. That's actually, yeah, that was very good. Um, let's see here, let's go to Bathing Garden. I had received a bunch of samples from the Bathing Garden when I did place my two separate orders earlier on in the year. Uh, the first one is Tunnel of Love, and it is described as red velvet raspberry cheesecake with a swirl of rose glaze pudding. Not memorable. In fact, I don't even, like, must have been at the beginning of May that I melted this. It's all right. It's not, it wasn't anything to write home about. Um, not my favorite. Not super strong. And I think I had this one in my bathroom. On the other hand, I had lacquered lollipops, which is described as black currant citrus cypress musk and ginger and this reminded me of um the comforter the comforter from lush so to me that was very similar i know those notes that i read to you don't sound like black current for sure but um i really enjoyed that so here's that and and the clamshell it went through was raspberry hearts and that was that there and i think this was from the valentine's collection Strawberry slices, ripe raspberries, and cake bites. So that was all right. It was decent. Uh, again, I, I don't know. Don't know if I repurchase it again, but um, that was nice. It was nice to try. And bathing garden, it was nice to get into something new. Uh, let's see. Let's go on to a couple of vintage chic scents that I um, have gone through. My friend from back east in Canada, she sent me this wonderful care package, which woman after my own heart wrote out all the scent note descriptions for everything she sent me. Love it. So she sent me a vintage, vintage chic scents princess milk glass and it is described as wild berries, strawberries and cream and cake batter sugar milk. And this was nice. Um, there was quite, she sent quite over, quite a bit over. Yeah, that was really, really nice. Um, but it's hard to get and um, she said, oh, and, but the nice thing about it is this was cured for quite some time. Vintage chic scents needs to be cured for a long time, in my opinion. Um, that's why I like getting these stashes with, uh, vintage chic, because a lot of the times they're at least three months old. This was poured in on May 5th, 2016, so a year ago. And then I got a three coin pack from my friend in Florida of Tea Time Couture, which was poured on March 31st, 2016. It's backwards for what I do for work. So it was like three little coins. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of throw out of this one. I felt that this this particular oil was probably not their strongest, but that's my opinion. Um, but let me know if you've had that before, if you felt the same way. And let's go on to one of my, un and I posted my collection video for this brand. I think they're really underrated. And I've got um, a lemonade sampler six weeks down the road, but lemonade sampler, sampler coming, I'm super stoked. And that's Rainbow Melts, um, the company. Rainbow Melts Zucchini Jam. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, it's so good. It is the perfect amount of bakery, like a donut. Um, I really don't get much zucchini. I literally get a donut and like strawberry jam. It's described as creamy zucchini and strawberry jam filled donuts. I really liked it. It was so good. In fact, I do still have some in the scent shot. Um, I kept, <laughs> I'm like hoarding it now. Um, yeah, I really like it and I have a playlist for Rainbow Melts and we had a giveaway on my channel which was awesome. Uh, so awesome. Crystal is the owner and she did that. It was super cool. And Cookie Heaven is another one. It was an Ascent shot and this is described as gourmet sugar cookies, Danish butter cookies, and vanilla butter fudge. And this was scrumptious. Beautiful. Really, really enjoyed that. Okay. Let's go on to Tiffany Candles. So we have a few different ones. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I got this as one of the random act of kindness. This is one of the many. I'm so very spoiled. Thank you guys very much. Um, sugar cookie dough. This was a little teddy, teddy bear. I think Tiffany does these teddy, I don't know, teddy melts. But um, unfortunately, this one wasn't very strong. Uh, it was a small teddy bear and I had it in my bedroom and it didn't throw. Actually, if I remember correctly, I ended up turning this off six hours in because I was like I was not getting anything I want to put something in, in my bedroom that I know I'm gonna smell so um, maybe it's just um, I don't know 
Maybe it was the oil, maybe it was me, maybe it was, I melted that on at Bath & Body Works. 25 watt bulb. And then I did the Rosemary Mint Melt Off. And of course this is her Rosemary Mint. And it was good, it was not my favorite, but it was not my least, my, was not my least favorite. It was more of a sweeter rosemary versus more of a less sweet, if that makes sense. But anyway, I did a melt off for Tiffany, or sorry, for rosemary mint. So, and I, again, I have a playlist for that. And honeydew melon, which kicked some major butt. My mom went home with half of the scent shot and I melted the other half uh, in my bedroom. And it's beautiful. And I know Tiffany's just, I don't know when this is going up, but. She just opened and uh, I didn't get any more of this, but cause I want to try a whole bunch of th things. But anyway, that was really good. If you like the melon, you like that. Okay, Rose Girls. I just have the one thing I went through. It's a chunk. <sighs> Rose Girls. Jenny, if you're watching this, you need to make this again. <laughs> like this was so good in the bedroom. This was Pink Peppermint Milkshake. Again, in a random act of kindness, I received, I received a, a huge chunk. Like I think, I don't know, it was like this big. I ended up cutting it into three pieces and making it last longer. It was absolutely scrumptious. Jenny, this was really good. Yes, more. Okay, um, unfortunately this company is no longer in business, but it was my first Canadian wax vendor that I tried and that was Ambrosia Shop. So I have quite a few things I've been melting through because both I've melted and I sent my mom home with half of a scent shot and then I felt like I should probably just melt it again my hands Ooh, mine of their own um evening C this was in the crumbly like a crumbly bits evening C was actually really lovely perfect in the bathroom I felt that this was just a perfect bathroom scent I don't have scent no descriptions but ever so slightly sweet but a little fresh Fresh and sweet. I guess that's how I would describe that. Like a berries and things like that. Oh, this was perfect and um, perfect in the bathroom. And Magic Dragon, a little bit, again, I didn't find this to be a big strong, it wasn't very strong for me. Um, it, it was just like a mixed fruit again. It, there was nothing, there was nothing specific about it. It wasn't ought to stand out for me. So. Th and that was big bark pieces like that. She had, it was gorgeous, a like glitter and layers of color. Um, Magic Dragon for me was a bit of a, a miss because it's not memorable. I didn't really enjoy it as much as I was hoping. All right, now I have some scent shots. Sun Kiss Coconut, already reviewed on my channel. This is a complete dupe for Bath & Body Works. Oh goodness, what is it now? Oh, I've already got a review up on my channel. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have my brain. It's the end of the week. So anyway, it's already up on my channel. Um, this smells wonderful and cold. Coconut and um, orange, but it didn't throw for me. I used this whole scent shot in my largest dish, which is like that big, and it's actually a, that well, it's a dish, so it's not a bulb, it's an electric warmer. I wish that this threw more. But after lesson learned, because I know Ashley, she melted hers and she said that hers was really good. Um, the next four melts I have, I just cut them in half and put them in my bedroom, like a 25 watt or my, my kitchen, 25 watt, yeah, smaller, smaller dishes and things and I cut it in half. Peaches and cream kicked butt. I had this in my bedroom and it smelled, it came all the way out here. It was fantastic. I had this going when my parents were here. Uh, orange dream again this was great too the orange was perfect and a uh, half a cent shot went really well so I noticed that for me I now know to just select this particular kind from ambrosia shop in half yuzu fruit was another uplifting gorgeous fruity yummy wax melt and it did really well I had this going in my bedroom as well and it came crawling out here too which I don't mind at all and 7-Up Pound Cake. Um, this was another one I put the whole thing in, I will say, yes. This and the uh, uh, Sun Kissed Fruit. Anyway, these are the two I put in whole and I didn't get as much of a scent throw on this, um, which I'm now realizing is my own fault. So anyway, lesson learned, like I said before. I'm learning just like everyone else. All right, let's talk Destination Wax. 
Unfortunately for me, I'm about a 50-50 when it comes to how they perform this company's wax, how they perform for me, and their throat. I live in an open concept home. Um, some of these, which I will show you, obviously, performed beautifully. And I find their scent shots perform magnificent. But we'll go into the smaller pieces here. I had four of the lily putts or whatever the hell they call I don't know what they're called before these little squares and this was in orange and it was nice but it didn't have a kick it was in my bag I knew it was it was light it was light in the, the bag so I put it in my bedroom in hopes that my small bedroom would cont contain the scent in that it just it just didn't it didn't wow me it, they're beautiful wax. The shapes are beautiful. The molds are gorgeous. They take wonderful photographs. But for me, that one did not work for me. Oregon Coast had, this is a lily putt times, like there's two of these little squares. I had to put these in my bathroom. It was a beautiful bathroom scent. So for me, for destination wax, with the exception of a couple, I'll share with you. I know that if I'm going to buy these little lily putt square things, they, I have to buy the right scents for my bathroom or my bedroom. Uh, unfortunately, that's just how it's working for me. So Oregon Coast, it was nice. I did it in my bathroom. It's very fresh. Uh, strawberry Lemonade Gelato. I had zero scent throw from this. This was a little sample. I don't know. I think it was a sample I think I received from them. It was smaller, so I put it in my 18-watt bulb warmer in my bathroom. I got no scent. So too bad. So sad. Uh, jelly Cronut. Hands down the strongest. Again, split this in half. Put them in two, like separately. I did... You know, a couple different days, but um, in my 25 watt Bath and Body Works warmer as well as the Mainstays warmer, fantastic. And the re your view, if it's not already up, it'll be up shortly after this. Coconut cream pie, it did really well. My mom went one home with half of it, and I melted the other half in my bedroom. I've come to realize I don't like coconut pie, which is weird. There was something about it I didn't like. It might be the the grain cracker crust. But I'm not sure. But there was I didn't enjoy it as much as I was hoping, but it did throw really well. Again, these are scent shots versus those. I don't know if it has something to do with those bags that only sticker on the back. I don't know. Uh, Calypso Melon did wonderful. My mom went home with half of it, and so therefore I melted the other half. And this did really, really well. And I did this in my mainstays warmer in my kitchen. Fantastic. Threw beautifully. And who doesn't? I love melon. So I was going to say, who doesn't love melon? But there's plenty of people out there that don't love melon. Okay, let's go to Super Tarts. Go to sleep. I received this in a random act of kindness. Um, and this is a, a staple for so many people. It's like a lavender blend. I'm not sure if it's like an herbal lavender or sweet. I don't know. I think there might, I don't know exactly. I don't know the scent note descriptions, but split in half, used each half in my bedroom at separate times. Gorgeous. I would highly recommend this if you like lavender. This is nice. I would definitely get this again for sure. Uh, Twilight's Alice. This was gorgeous. Um, I love fizzy. You guys know that about me. This is fizzy pop apricot slices and raspberry glaze. Fantastic. My mom really loved it. I sent her home with my last two cubes. So that was really good. Orange is the new black. Given to me part of my random act of kindness I received. I like this actually. It's really good. Um, I would actually consider purchasing this if I could again down the road so very nice uh, and then we have super tarts of violet which i received from my friend back east in canada uh violet is described as peppermint cotton candy and blackberry and this is gorgeous in my bedroom very very nice i loved it and beth was the other one that i received from my friend beth is described as lollipops moscato and passion fruit so that was very very nice as well so thank you very much Okay, we're getting down to the end of it, guys. We're gonna, oh, sorry, my mug's so close to you. Uh, BZ Tarts, Glaze Citrus Pound Cake, eh, it was all right. It wasn't as good as many other vendors I've tried. Um, I didn't put the whole shot in there. I did, in fact, cut this up and put it into different melters, but I'll put the lid back on. Uh, so that's BZ Tarts there, and that's that. I wouldn't buy it again. Rosemary Mint Type from Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy Candles. I love this on cold. On cold, it would have been my second favorite from when I did that rundown of Rosemary Mint scents from different vendors. 
but unfortunately I had no throw on this. And I got it, I've had it since April 27th and I melted it probably around the 25th of May. So maybe I need to cure it a little longer. I know some people have been mentioning like because it's soy wax, maybe to wait two months. So randomness now, I've got a vanilla bean from Time and Again uh, Waffle Bar. It's like the first wax melt I ever bought from Pharmasave in Canada for $2.99. So there's eight little tiny bars. <laughs> um, it was pretty much, sent, pretty, I get hiccups, pretty much scentless by the time I finished this. Because I've had this for almost two years actually. So it was all right. I was trying to use this to blend with other things and I, I wouldn't buy it again. I haven't actually seen that company at all. Um, there's a few things here. I'm not certain exactly what they are. I received them as samples from my friend Vanessa. This is the glazed donut. You're gonna, again, I will actually have the name of this vendor. I know on uh, the video I'm doing with the roundup of uh, jelly donut scents. This is on there, so I can't remember it by now, right now. But anyway, this, this was a sample of that. Strawberry something something. <laughs> These are just little ones I put into my, on oh, that strawberry one. Again, I don't know the company, so it makes no difference. But the strawberry one was really strong. Nana's uh, Nana's banana pudding is all right. It lasts a while actually. Um, Sassy Girl Aroma, marshmallow cotton candy, and I don't know what the last little bit is, but this was really good. Just a tiny little chunk in my bathroom melt. Again, 18 watt was fantastic. And I, this was a lemon biscotti and I can't remember. Uh, candles from the keeping room, orange caramel little bites. I realize I, don't like a lot of caramel because as many people um, that I respect and watch as well here on YouTube, they hit the nail on the head. There are some parts about car uh, caramel, caramel, whatever, that certain brands put the scent, uh, the oils, and it can smell almost burnt when melted. So that's kind of how I felt about this. It was nice. It was from a random act of kindness. It was good. I, they were beautiful, like very realistic little caramel bites. Um, but I don't think I enjoy them as much. I have received other things from candles in the keeping room from friends that are just kick ass. This is a mystery bag. I think that I bought this out of the D stash. I think she said it was Mystique from Super Tarts, but I had no, I had nothing to tell me as such. But um, Santa Squirrel. Sorry, <laughs> but this is my only experience with Scented Squirrel. It didn't want very good. I I did purchase this I, from a D stash. I wanted to try a bunch of different vendors. This is in Silent in the Trees, described as cannabis flowers, bamboo hemp, raw sugar mandarin, pine, balsam, bergamot, white flower, sandalwood, patchouli, and violets. It didn't do anything for me at all. In fact, I didn't like it when I opened it. I It was the rest of my order that I got, like the D sash I got, I loved, but this one was eh, it didn't really throw it all for me. Uh, another mystery, uh, new to me, two timing tarts, honeydew, amber, fig. This is great. I had this going in my bedroom and it looks like it was from April 22nd, 2016. This is a beautiful little flower. It was quite lovely. Don't know what that is. And lastly, a fellow Canadian um, vendor and he's literally 30 minutes away from my house and I'm going to meet him very soon. He's opening up his shop. I'm coming to you, Mike. And that's for that's by Melts for Mutts. And I was given this um, as a sample from a D stash I purchased, coconut mint Nanaimo bars. And Nanaimo bars are just, mm, Google it, Nanaimo bars. Oh, you guys, this is so good. And you know it's Mike's partner's very favorite um, scent and it threw like a beast. A chocolate mint really with a little bit of cream and a little bit of, um, well, you have to look up Nanaimo bars, the base. So um, you will see a haul for me down the road. As soon as Mike opens up his shop, I really want to get down there or up there. Anyway, love this guys. And he base, he has a shop. He sells on Etsy, melts for mutts. And all the pro proceeds go to um, help him. He has like a senior dog rescue. So of course the senior dogs come with a lot of issues like they're aging and they, you know have to go to the vet and things like that. And so he ha provides them a safe place to, to live. Um, and takes them to bed obviously until their days um, are over. So fantastic, Mike, I'm looking forward to seeing you. So you guys, this is the longest video I think I've ever made, no joke. All right, you guys, thanks very much for watching. And again, I'm so sorry about 
Sassy Girl Aroma. I mean, it won't matter to most of you because most people on Sassy Girl Aroma are from the States, so it's not really that big a deal. But those of us who ship from internationally, you know, outside of the United States, it was hard to, hard to see all of those changes and a lot of them affected us quite a bit too. Affected everybody, but international being that you're not even gonna get your stuff until the end. That's just me, again, my opinion. All right, I'm gonna stop now. As always, be safe and have fun.